Hey there. So today I'm talking about getting set up for camping for the first time. There's a whole heap of videos out there around what you need. So, you know, tent, um, place to sit, place to cook with, all, all that stuff. What I'm going to do today is tell you about the things that you don't need. So I've pulled together a, a couple of items that I believe are entirely unnecessary to get into camping. I've brought someone along with me who has been camping for a number of years but has never actually set up camp herself. So, I brought my wife. This is Engela. She's going to be the one setting up camp today. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to give you a guide. I'm going to go sit over there while I tell you about the gear you don't need. All right, so the first item you seriously don't need when you're camping is fancy cutlery. On one of the lists that I found when I was doing research for this video, there was a titanium cutlery set. So a knife, fork, and a spoon. That's silly. Particularly if you're starting out, grab some cutlery from home. It's generally stainless steel. If you want, you can go out and buy a whole new set for like $20. Perfectly suitable. <laughs> I just noticed that this needs to go through. <laughs> <laughs> so we learn. As you were. As you were. Didn't I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to interrupt that. So the next item that you seriously don't need, and I saw this on a few lists actually, is power tools. Power tools make life easier, yes, uh, absolutely. And I know that a lot of people use them when they're uh, camping in caravans. The only power tool I take with me is a chainsaw. Alrighty, so the next one, I'm going to call myself out on this one actually, is fancy sleeping quarters. If you're starting out with camping, you don't need a rooftop tent, you don't need a camper trailer, you don't need a caravan. A swag or a small tent even is more than sufficient. The next item I am seriously guilty of. So take this one with a pinch of salt and bear in mind that this particular item is really focused on when you're starting out with camping and that is stoves. You don't need a fancy stove. You need implement that is capable of generating heat. And if you're just starting out, one of these stoves is perfect. If you're running, planning on camping in snow or in really cold climates, get a stove that runs on LPG, which can handle a lot cooler temperatures. For most Australian camping, one of these stoves is more than sufficient. We have a swag. We have a swag. So do they come with instructions? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I'm just not gonna give them to you. There's a mattress in it, isn't there? Debatable, but yes. <laughs> so speaking of mattresses, inflatable mattresses, and in fact, inflatable anything. Unless it's like a, like a little floaty for the pool or for, you know, to use on the river that is kind of disposable. The caveat to that is self-inflating mattresses. So a self-inflating mattress doesn't require a pump. They have a foam, like a memory cell foam inside. If you're investing in your first set of camping gear, don't buy an inflatable mattress. These are a little bit more expensive and they're far better. And better yet, most swags already come with a mattress so you don't need to buy one. All right, so next up, pillows. So, I own and have owned a number of camping pillows in my life. They stuff into a little bag. They don't go much smaller than what they are when they're fully inflated. They're uncomfortable. Frankly, they kill my back and my neck. Don't spend money on a camping pillow, right? You can go one of two ways. If you've got a sleeping bag, stuff a bunch of clothes into it. You've got something that will be, I guarantee you, as comfortable as a camping pillow. Or take a pillow from home. This one's really bright. Just a normal pillow off your bed at home. They don't take up much more space than a camping pillow. Radio, and the last one, and this one is gonna be a little bit controversial, is a fridge. You don't need a fridge while you're camping. It's one of those things that I think a lot of us have. I have multiple fridges. Your whole setup needs to kind of revolve around the fridge when you add it to your setup. Particularly if you're just starting out, you can just buy an Esky. Most modern Eskies will keep your food cool for a whole weekend without any issues. Ah, I did it! You did it! I do think I need to just mention a couple of things that I think are absolutely critical when you go camping and they're really easy to forget. First up, first aid. 
These survival first aid kits are really great. This is the big one. A little tip for you, if you have medication that you take daily, put it in here because then you always know where this bag lives. So they're quite extensive. Like it's, it's really, like, and, and it's really well labeled. Next up, really important is dry, warm sleeping area. So uh, swag will keep you dry, uh, even in the worst of weather, that you do need somewhere safe and warm to sleep. And the last item that I would say is critical for camping is toilet paper. Don't forget this stuff. It's a less than ideal situation when you forget it at home. And I've done that on a number of occasions. Mm -hmm.